Okie dokie guys, let's get diving into two of my favorite friends here when it comes to growing the business. You guys know how I like to grow the business. We want to keep things lean, we want to keep things profitable, and we don't want to be breaking the bank unnecessarily, okay? so. As you build your brand, you're building this snowball within your community and slowly starting to dominate the industry, okay? I call these my two friends, reviews and referrals, okay? So it should go without saying, okay, Dave, I get it. We need reviews and referrals. This is gonna be an in-depth training on how we're gonna get more of them because again, I can coach you to go dump a whole bunch of money in Google PPC or Facebook ads that you're gonna be spending so much money to get a return. I love both of these because they are effectively uh, free marketing, okay? And I think a lot of service-based businesses do a pretty crappy job at actually getting more reviews and more referrals. Some do an okay job, but this video is, is a closed community. This is gonna take you to the next level. I'm gonna show you all of our tips, our tricks, what we do with my cleaning business. So take a bunch of notes. Uh, it's not gonna be too long of a training, but I do wanna capture a few key points that I, I wanna make sure that you don't miss out on, okay? So let's start over here with reviews, okay? So there's really a three-step process to how you can go out and get reviews, okay? So I don't, I've don't. i got tons of training on the importance of reviews. You know, we've done coaching calls around this. We'll have more to come. This is gonna be about actually a how-to guide. How do you do it, okay? So the first thing you wanna do getting reviews is you wanna be priming the client, okay? So as you start to snowball this thing, customers are gonna be predisposed to the fact that they've already read your reviews, they already kinda know you've got a good rating, that's probably why they called you in the first place. So let's assume that assumption already, that they've already done a little bit of homework on you, that's why you're there doing the service, okay? So this needs to get drilled in to your lead technician, to your crew, what are we doing for reviews and referrals? And it needs to start with you, the owner. You guys know, as you grow your business, you guys are the ones setting the pace for your business. So you first, the owner, you need to learn how to do this, and then we need to train your crews on how to do this, okay? So priming the client, what happens is, in our initial customer meeting, literally our lead technician is knocking on the door, Hey, Mrs. Smith, how are you? You know, I'm Landon here with Revive Washing. Great to meet you. Uh, we're excited to take care of this project for you today. Uh, I just wanted to review, you know, the work order with you and just show you we're here to do your windows, your gutters. We're gonna take care of the driveway cleaning. Okay, yep, that sounds perfect. So what's gonna happen next? I'm gonna go get my tools, get to work. We're gonna start over here. You know, we'll probably be here for about half a day kind of thing. And then I'll check in with you when, when we're all done. How does that all sound yep that sounds great Landon okay now before I let you go Mrs. Smith I do just want to let you know we've got two goals for today number one we want to do such a great job washing your home cleaning your gutters that you're just so happy with the experience we provide you and the second goal is we would love to be able to get um, a, a positive review from you when we're finished. You know, reviews and referrals really help to power our local business, and we would love to be able to um, gain your reviews and reviews and referrals. So, literally, that script of we have two goals for today. We're going to do an amazing job with the fill in the blank service, and then the second goal, we would love to get a positive review from you when we're done. We want to show that level, that five out of five service. So you can kind of script it how you want. I love scripts, but I don't love them in that when they become like robotic. So it's gotta be your own language, but borrow that tip from me. We got two goals for today. This is what we want to accomplish. What's in it for me? You're gonna get such a clean home. And then law of reciprocity, I'm gonna ask you to do something, step out of your way and leave a great review for my company, okay? so. We gotta prime them, right? And you can't just be the end of the job and we're like, here, leave us a review. We gotta prime them, we gotta kinda set that precedent, we gotta build that frame properly with the expectation on that initial client meeting. So you may think, you meet a customer, you dive into cleaning the thing. Don't dive into cleaning the thing unless you've already dove in and mentioned the two goals, okay? Very, very important with the priming effect. Two, you gotta ask the client for the review. We like to ask at the end of the service. So we'll say, um, you know, oh, everything looks great, Mrs. Smith. Would you like to come do a walk around with us? Yeah, perfect. I'll just show you the things we did. We took care of this, this, and this. Okay, that all looks really good. Um, okay, so Mrs. Smith, I just wanted to follow up there. 
um, on our two goals for today. Um, we'd love to be able to get that positive review from you. Would that be possible? Oh yeah, no, no problem. You know what? How would be best that I do that for you? Well. Actually, what's going to happen is you're going to get uh, texted automatically a link to your cell phone um, as soon as I close the job here on my platform. So you can go on on your own time and leave a review for us on either Google or Facebook um, or there's even another platform you can leave a review on um, for us as well. So literally, again, building that frame, but the asking of the client, it, it kind of already sells itself on the fact that you've already done a good job doing the thing you've offered. You've done a good job building the frame and now you just need to relate to them on a personal level okay so I've even heard um, companies use lines before you know and my guys have done this as well they say um, if you could leave us a positive review it really shows my boss that I'm doing a good job um, and another thing you can say is it really benefits uh, it really helps to grow our local business within the community okay people are all about local business uh, today's day and age that's not going anywhere so you know your review will help grow our business our local business within your community people love that stuff okay so um, as a client as a homeowner I'm much more likely to leave you Keith a review or Josh a review or Gary a review I'm more likely to do that than I am to go leave you know um, a squeegee squad window cleaning or or you know um, uh, magic pressure washing or whatever your company name is I'm much more likely to leave a review for the technician or the business owner personally than I am for the company so always make it personal right it shows my boss I'm doing a great job um, it helps to grow my business locally in the community however you got to do it if you can do step two properly your conversion rate is going to go absolutely through the roof okay so when we shoot for in my business if we do 10 projects we want to be getting three to four positive reviews from that okay you're just not going to get 10 for 10 as you scale up your company is going to be some people don't want to leave a review even though they're happy they don't want to put their information online maybe they are just so busy they forget about it maybe they don't write reviews on anything so going for that 30 to 40 percent is a great marker if you can get up to 50 where you're getting a review on half your jobs you're going to be absolutely laughing okay last but not least you got to follow up with that client now in today's day and age i would recommend service software such as nice job is great we use nice job you can look at uh, birda you could look at sotellus um, you could look at pulse fm there's all these different um, companies that can do uh, review automation but the important thing is a lot of people will say oh just use nice job right you'll get all these reviews it doesn't actually work as effective as, as it as it should unless you're doing step one and step two okay you still need to relate to that client personally show them you care because if you just go do a cleaning job clients like decently happy right maybe like an 8 out of 10 like it was good but they forgot this you never mention the review if I get a, a text to my mobile that's like please review revive washing I'll be like I oh, forget that what's the point but if I actually met the lead technician Josh he was friendly he forgot something but I pointed it out he took care of it he mentioned that reviews really help to grow the business locally and show his boss that he's doing a great job. What do you think I'm gonna do with that tech, with that message? I'm gonna see it, be like, man, I'm gonna hook up my boy Josh with a five star, right? Boom, boom, boom. So I'd only do that if this got built out properly. So I would say if you don't prime and you don't ask personally, I would say your review conversion becomes like, one in 15 maybe one in 20 but when you prime and ask properly you're looking at that three to four out of ten right An absolutely massive difference when you do these two properly so look into getting some type of a follow-up sequence I call it like you know a really dynamic duo when you are able to prime and ask personally and you pair that with some software that can put it more in automation is fantastic okay so if you haven't set this up yet look into a nice job or a so tell us you want to put these reviews on autopilot and you guys know me you want to have a system for absolutely everything in your business you should not just be getting reviews willy-nilly by texting clients links and this and that things get forgotten and broken we got to build this company as if you've got three four five six seven crews on the road everyone's doing the same thing in a similar fashion providing great service asking for reviews and setting it up on some type of follow-up because again 
people get busy, right? They might get that text message and forget about it, but then they'll get prompted with another email or two. So you can build out all those sequences on a Sotellus or a nice job and get it perfectly calibrated um, to your business, okay? The last thing with reviews I'll touch on, you've got to celebrate this within your culture, okay? Every Monday meeting is a team meeting with my company. We start with talking about reviews we got and then we segue into safety and what's coming up for the week. But we start with celebrating reviews. We, we verbally read them out on a Zoom call if we're on Zoom or in person, we'll read them out in person and we celebrate them, right? We post it in our company Slack channel. We tag the crew. We tell them what a great job you guys are doing and our crews get $15 for every review that they can generate. So if you're doing two to three jobs a day, they should at least be getting a review to two reviews adding on to their paycheck. So we build that in the culture. It's like a huge win uh, at Revive when we get uh, a review from a happy client. You gotta be posting that and celebrating it within your team. Once you get them stoked on this, you kind of build the game around it. You start paying them for getting reviews. The thing's gonna just snowball, okay? So um, that is reviews. We're gonna move uh, now and talk about uh, referrals here on this next part. All right, so step two, let's get in and dive in and talk about referrals, okay? Every bit as important as reviews. You can almost look at them as a little bit of one and the same in that um, um, reviews are just effectively online referrals that customers have posted, right? I looked at our Google report this last month. We had over 10,000 people see our Google reviews the last month uh, on our GMB, on our Google My Business page. So absolutely dynamite when you get these two um, working in tandem, okay? So I want to segue through and talk about referrals in your service-based business, okay? So it's important to structure the verbiage properly because if you came in today and cleaned my home, you're gonna say, oh, who could you refer me to? And I'm like put on the spot, I'm just like, ah, I'm not sure, maybe call this friend, right? You don't wanna be putting people on the spot, but you do again, back to here, you wanna prime them to be thinking about it, how they could help benefit your business, okay? And sometimes we think, oh my goodness, we gotta pay clients for reviews and referrals. We need to incentivize them, right? If you refer us, you get a $20 gift card to this, please. It's just, don't make it gimmicky. Literally, just do such a great job providing service that customers can't help but tell their friends, their neighbors, their family, their community. They can't help sharing it out, okay? So I think a lot of home service businesses kind of do an average-ish service experience and it's like, what's the point of referring that? So the best way to get referrals is to be referable, okay? So I wanna give you a few tips and trainings with this though, how you can kind of iron out some of these processes for your own service business, okay? So you wanna go with the verbiage uh, Mrs. Smith, the ultimate compliment you can give to my local business um, is a referral to someone you know in your community, to a neighbor, to a friend. So you gotta be mentioning, is there anyone in your network you think could potentially benefit from our services? Again, don't put them on the spot. Just mention the ultimate compliment you can give my service business is if you're able to refer us to anyone who could possibly benefit from our services would like literally mean the world to us. So just phrasing it like that, okay? So going a little bit more granular, how we can do that is you can get Mrs. Smith, um, you know, if she doesn't have anybody on the on the spot at the top of her head, that's no problem. You can say, you know, if, are you in any local Facebook groups here, Mrs. Smith? Oh, you know what? I'm actually in the local moms group. Um, hey, that's fantastic. Would you mind sharing a photo of the before and after that we did at your home? Or would you mind sharing a review and tagging my company in that? Or would you mind sharing a post from my company Facebook page into that um, into that group that you're in. You know, I'd even be able to send you the link right here. You could share it in. So you got to go a little bit scrappy here in today's day and age. The referrals still exist with word of mouth, absolutely. But in today's digital age, we got to be able to get rocking on these Facebook pages, okay? Um, we rock and roll in a few of them that have 4,000, 7,000, 10,000 members. We get when people post gutter cleaning, pressure wash, Christmas lights, we get people tagging our Facebook posts, our Facebook page, you know, 20, 30 times in a row. That is so much social proof when you're gonna be able to do that. How we got to that point was doing a great job in the community and asking our clients, hey, do you mind sharing out you know, our Facebook page or posting a photo. You don't have to post 
your address, but you could post the side of the house, you know, you could send Mrs. Smith pictures of her gutters before and after and say, would you mind posting this picture on the group? So a lot of you have maybe like thought before, oh, that'd kind of be nice to do, but I'm actually physically coaching you, telling you, go do this now, go do this today because this stuff works. It all comes down to building your brand, okay? And again, I think a lot of service-based businesses, including your very own competition, is not doing this properly. So this review and referral hack this little training you're getting, um, plus coaching from me, if we can put these into place properly in your service business, you're gonna just be leagues ahead of your competitors, literally just trying to catch up, okay? Um, another thing you can do is leave two to three business cards with your client when you're done, okay? So we always joke in my company that the client exit meeting is just like this fury of activity, right? We're getting lead technicians to pack up the stuff, do a walk around, uh, collect payment, ask for a review, uh, mention referrals, right? Go do the five rounds. Like there's just all these things and that's why the training of your team is just so vitally important, right? Doing a good job cleaning, yes, but we need people who are good at talking to customers, asking for reviews, asking for referrals, you know, even leaving, you know, Mrs. Smith, is it okay if I leave you two to three business cards here? Um, you could pass those out to any friends or neighbors who could potentially benefit from our services. I've never had a happy customer say no to that, by the way. It's just like, oh, for sure, leave me the business card. That works great for customers, you know, 55, 65, 70 years old. For the younger generation, you get the mom with the two kids who's 40, um, you know, in a double income family. I guarantee you she's more kind of your Instagram, Facebook group, mommy blogger. That's exactly who you want to be posting in local Facebook groups. Okay, so read your client a little bit based on are they a little bit online savvy? I'd say anyone kind of 40 years old and below is like a no brainer. Push for that. If they're a little bit older, um, then I push for the business card um, route, right? It's just you got to um, speak the language of your customer. And if you go to a 70 year old granny and say, hey, go on your local fit, like you might be surprised, but generally like 19 out of 20 times, those people aren't going to be on Facebook. But at the time of this video, who knows if you watch this in a year from now, it might all change, right? The internet's changing so quick. But for now, I'd say kind of read your audience and pick, you know, either one or two uh, for kind of next steps on the referrals, okay? So spelling it all out for you, these two are vitally important. My service business, we've never spent more than 7% of our uh, total revenue in our marketing department because we do this so well. Reviews and referrals, I would argue, help contribute to putting three, four, five hundred thousand dollars on our top line because we have these processes dialed in. We're able to save a lot of money where we only need to turn on Google PPC and Facebook ads for our busy season and then we can turn it off because we're so good at generating reviews and referrals. Okay, so if you're setting up to do a $500,000 business this year, marketing, to be honest with you, should be in kind of that 25 to 35 grand range anywhere in there because we're gonna be dialing these in so uh, perfectly. It's gonna keep your net profit margin just even better than where it needs to be. Uh, you know, Otherwise, if you don't do these things, you're gonna be overspending in a lot of marketing areas. I've got friends who have marketing budgets that they spend 15, 20, 22% of their top line in marketing because they they don't know how to do this and so they just go and keep giving Facebook more money, okay? I'd rather save those 12, 15 points, put it on my bottom line because I'm gonna dial in these two systems, okay? So very important, it takes practice. I would literally head to a mirror right now, maybe in your washroom, go stand in front and start asking, start talking it out, literally practice for the next half hour. Mrs. Smith, we have two goals for today. Boom, 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 boom. Do you have anyone who could benefit from our services? It's really the ultimate compliment to me as a business owner when we get our business referred in the community, okay? So can't stress this stuff enough. Give yourself some practice with it and reach out to me if you've got any more questions about this. But I wanted to keep this training fairly short and on point, talking about reviews, talking about referrals, absolutely vitally important in your marketing tool belt as you keep scaling up this business. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Oh,